so uh, it will be like 30 minutes, and I will show you um, some general information uh, about chatbot, and uh, we have some practical things. I have uh, two guests, as I uh, said. The light's back on. Uh, one is, um, uh, it's Google. Hey, Google. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. What can I help you with? Yes. And also, we have Alexa. How are you? Alexa, how are you? Like a kraken out of its cage. I'm feeling wild and free. <laughs> <laughs> so, because I will sometimes the use uh, their name, so I switch them off. Actually, what is interesting that there are several mics, and they can uh, you can see wh from which direction the voice is coming. <laughs> so, uh, I, I will talk, as I said, about two topics. One, one is why to create voice bot, and the second one uh, would be need for that. Uh, I think you ask who is the developer. I think uh, probably all of you. Is there someone else from I don't know marketing, support, managers? Just developers. Are you developers? Okay. So um, that's some words about me. Uh, I do the, the lectures, consultancy, I work for um, uh, Google Launchpad as a, as a mentor, and for last three, four years, I'm uh, doing uh, activities with, with, with chatbots. So the first thing, why to create voicebot? I just call it like speaking age is back. When you look to the history, uh, the storytelling starting from the caveman. They just need to talk each other and put the, the story. Suddenly, Gutenberg bring it with the papers and someone started to read. And now when we are in this age when everybody's typing, we're just losing the ability or you, you want to use um, like uh, emo emotion, etc. So the first thing is, how can I learn when can I when I cannot read? So it's a question for small children, like age uh, under five, or maybe 15, because my son is like age 15 and is, he doesn't like to go to the library too much. Or there's another target group, uh, when you're getting older, you cannot see it. Everything on a mobile phone is very small, so you can talk. Or sometimes you're in a car and you cannot read it, you cannot put uh, some notes. So very good example. And uh, last one, what is for us very nice benefit, right on, light off, for some handicap or disabled people, it's something like 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 mm, need how to control their their house. Uh, also, there are, another thing is technical uh, innovation. Like ten years, twenty years, thirty years ago, it was quite hard to uh, get text to speech and speech to text. Now. Um, this artificial intelligence understands more than one million words. Uh, they can recognize several speakers. They can understand the, the meaning. So technically, it's uh, it's ready. Also, there's a very nice fight between Amazon, Google, and and the other. So when Siri came out, I don't know, it was like five, six, seven years ago. It was something unbelievable. But there were like one issue: you need to hold your mobile phone just very close to your mouth. And I think it took uh, Amazon like two years to create something like that. You don't need to hold the device just close to you. When I turn it on, I'm quite far away, and I, I can say, Alexa, what is my name? Alexa, what is my name? I'm not sure who's speaking, but you're in Martin's account. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm quite far away, and it's not technically easy to do it because there's a lot of interactions uh, etc also the price is uh, unbelievable uh, down just for 30 bucks you can buy this device which is great you can go to Alza and uh, you can hold it just one tomorrow and it, you, you can plug it as, as I did and you can uh, start um, like tomorrow you can use it there are different type of uh, devices so from from car uh, watches uh, phone uh, speakers uh, do you know uh, Echo Look? Who knows that? Good one. I will show you just one one advertising. Alexa, it's gonna rain tonight. Alexa, what's on my calendar? Alexa, turn the lights off. Okay. 
Alexa helps with thousands of things. And now, she can help you look your best. Alexa, take a photo. <laughs> Introducing Echo Look. A first of its kind Echo with a hands-free camera. <laughs> Echo Look takes photos using just your voice. Its built-in lighting and depth sensing camera lets you blur the backgrounds to make sure your outfits pop. Giving you clean, full-length photos that are easy to share with friends. Plus, get a live view or take videos to see yourself from every angle. I'm about to take a video. We've also created an easy way to get a second opinion. Introducing Style Check. It combines the best in machine learning with advice from fashion specialists. Just pick two outfits and Style Check will give you a recommendation based on current trends and what flatters you. Alexa can also help you create a personal lookbook. It shows you what you wore and when, so you can keep track of your favorites and take your closet with you, wherever you go. Alexa, what's my commute? The fastest route takes about 15 minutes. Plus, Alexa is built in the cloud and always getting smarter, and so will Echo Look. Echo Look. Love your look every day. So, I think this is great example of device also targeting different group it's women girls and they really love this one you are not so we will see in, uh, uh, you can buy your uh, some your uh, on alza so it will be probably uh, here quite uh, quite soon <laughs> um, Okay, the another reason is that people love it. You can uh, see also company, if they can see that their customers love it, they can pay for creating a chatbot or, or voicebot. There are several examples that big brands are using it. When you look to the United States, it started like two years ago that uh, company asked advertising agency, can you build a chatbot or, uh, for, for us? Now it's uh, changing and they are creating on their, uh, to get with their own IT and they ask advertising agency just for help with, with, with something. Uh, and another example uh, is moving from fun and information about weather, sport uh, to the business. And I think it, Alex a very nice example of this business service because you can run several uh, speakers uh, in, a, in a company. Um, and, and it's like really quite good. So it was general thing. So when you would like to create a voice bot, um, you have to do several things. The first one is the idea. What will be this about? Second is something like intellectual marketing, boring stuff, uh, but uh, it must be done. Second is uh, third is code coding, and then uh, you can make some money on that. So. Uh, I will show you a very, very simple example. I asked my son, he's just fif uh, 15, uh, can we build a small, just talking, uh, what we call it, greeting bot. So uh, what is the intellectual part? Uh, when you are thinking about creating a new voice assistant, you have to think about a strategy. What is my goal? Uh, how will I measure the success? What will be uh, the next step? Then I need to uh, give some like personal brand identity to the bot. Uh, you have to decide, is it friend, the uh, way he's speaking, or is it just like a like, like colleague, is it funny, or uh, something more, uh, more, more, more official. Uh, in Google, you can choose several voices, man, woman, uh, some accent. In Alexa, I think it's going to be uh, always one. What is, from the brand point of view, great? In Alexa, it's still the same voice. When you ask people, they are still changing the voice, so uh, you, you are not uh, sure, that, uh, sure about that. Uh, and I think it's about the user. Who are you? <coughs> your user? Uh, does it speak your way? Does it, uh, do they use some jar jargon? Are they old or, or uh, young? Uh, very important is conversation design. Today I spent with one company here in Prague. Uh, we were doing the, the conversation part, for example. Uh, I need to reset the password. What uh, can be uh, the next step? Okay, what's your account number? Uh, put your email, it's not valid email. So the conversation tree, you have to uh, find like 
a happy path. Uh, that there is a whole situation how we all go through through the, the tailor, and then you can add some 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 branches. So you can spend a lot of time. So we spend a really whole day just to creating the task or yeah task for for, for developers. Another thing is uh, target target device. Is it just speaker in a, in a living room, or it's uh, in car or uh, on TV? It's different. Because when it's when you are talking to your phone, you can do some interaction. You can see some information with the direction, and you can use uh, just, just map or some, some other uh, interaction uh, things. Error handling, for, for example, very problematic answer is I don't understand. What does it mean? I don't understand the command, or I don't understand the accent. So you have to think how the user is using it. So it's just very. Uh, Hard to, or uh, you have to do testing. There are some automation tests, uh, but you need real people from your uh, target group. For example, when you're creating an application for children, you have to ask and put their children because they are talking different than you, you as a developer. Uh, second thing is you can uh, very easily do that, uh, that, that mm, server is running, CPU is running, uh, um, memory is good, but does it, it doesn't mean that the bot is responding well. So you have to ask every day and to do some tests. For example, hey, what's your name? Uh, what is my next, um, I don't know, meeting, etc. Uh, and marketing also. How you will get the user? Uh, how um, can I change the, the, the voices? Uh, who will be, uh, who will record it? How can I do the, the, the promotion? So it was the boring part. Now I will show you a very easy way how we can uh, create um, just a very, very simple, uh, sim simple example. You probably know this architecture. It's very this way that I will talk to this device, and it's uh, um, the core is the, the skill. It works like, like like your brain. On the left hemisphere, it's just this interface, just for language, just for understanding. So you say hello, and this part just translates this voice to text. I know the, the other side, I call it, or oh, um, Google, uh, I must call it like skill services. It's just for your coding, for your, like when you look to, uh, to the brain, it's like um, art part. So uh, there will be a lot of uh, coding for you. Um, what is good it, uh, can be, it's, it's written on several languages from JavaScript, Python. Uh, you can also host it. On uh, Amazon server uh, servers, or you can use your external hosting. For example, when you are running on Raspberry Pi, it's a little bit different. So uh, there will be one example um, when I test it on, on on this. We can call it Alexa. Ask greeting bot. Hi Martin. Who you want to say hello? So it, it was the running example. I will show you how to do it. So I will ask the uh, application, or it's called greeting bot, and Alexa will answer me. Uh, you need to find uh, it's something like grammar for talking to to bot, like invocation name. Uh, it's uh, just a name of the application, name of the skill, and uh, we call it as a greeting bot. So how to do it? There are two parts. One is the uh, skill interface. You go to this address, create new new skill, going through uh, uh, some 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 bizarre. Um, then you build the model. You can do it just for MP, just 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 to prepare. And uh, the last thing is to connect this um, interface part to the to to your code. So you do it through the uh, endpoint, and you will put um, here uh, the, the number. So on the other part is a skill services. Uh, here you, uh, I, we just uh, create very simple way. We use blueprints, uh, create a very easy uh, the, the first skill service. We call it greeting function, uh, and now we connected two parts together. So we put um, the uh, um, uh, skill ID, we put it to the lambda, uh, and a different way just to connect two parts together. 
<coughs> and then you can run just uh, a test. And uh, now when you when you say uh, uh, the indication name, uh, you will get get the answer. For example, I just did I ask uh, greeting bot, and you see all the information what Alexa understands you, and on the right side is what will be uh, what is the, the reply. But you need probably more. You need a discussion with um, this chatbot. So you can um, say something like, hi, Mar uh, Alexa replied, hi, Martin, uh, who you want to say hello. So she's just asking me. And I say, say hello to Peter. So I need to uh, put some, some more, like say hello and to someone, to Peter. And then Alexa will um, repeat it. So the grammar it's just an uh, invocation name is greeting bot. And then you create an intent. What do you want to do? So say hello to who? Uh, to Peter. So how to do it? In a um, skill interface, you create new intent. I call it uh, say hello uh, intent. And then you need to do like training. So you put several sentences like say hello to Peter. Peter, hi Peter, nice to meet you Peter. So with this training phrases, you, you learn that artificial intelligence, how to understand, how to fulfill in this uh, intent. Second part is the slot. It's like very uh, variable. Because sometimes you, uh, you would like to say, say hello to Michael. So change Peter to, um, to Michael, it's just uh, you just replace Peter to variable called, in my case, name. And you can uh, choose, because Alexa create their own and create several slot, uh, slot, uh, slot type. So uh, you can it recognize like names, day, numbers. Uh, you can say tomorrow and he will, uh, she will understand what does it mean next month. So all this type you can translate to, to like readable or variable. Or you can use your, your create your own. And then uh, there's a nice uh, JSON editor. So all the stuff which is set by Wizard, you can see in this JSON and you can see all the variables, etc. So very easy example how uh, words to do the, the say hello and, uh, and, and the name. So it just, just, this is the <coughs> language part. So we teach Alexa uh, how to understand the intent and then the name how to catch. Now you need to do like small coding, some, some programming. Um, so it used internal editor cloud uh, nine. Uh, in my case, we just create uh, example from blueprint template. I just uh, um, deleted everything. We create this small um, code, very simple one. Starting when. Uh, uh, the skill is launched, when I say, Alexa, uh, ask my greeting bot, he just uh, run this part of code. And it means, okay, uh, what I need to run, and it's welcome intent. And welcome intent, we use in this variable, hi Martin, and nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. When I, then she asks, uh, who uh, would you like to say hello? So in this example, we use this variable to get the name, Peter, John, etc., to understand this and answer um, with, uh, this, with, with this information. What is interesting, I just put it there, that you have to save every changes. And because it's on too far, on the left side, you have to save model and build model when you change a skill interface. On the right side, when you uh, do some changes in uh, services, you should also save it all the time, and it's a little bit independent. I will show you in a real uh, example. So uh, then you are ready for test. You can uh, ask it on real. <coughs> Alexa, ask greeting bot. Hi, Martin. Who you want to say hello? John. Hey John, nice to meet you. The mic's back on. Also, I can ask something else. Uh, Alexa, ask greeting bot. Hi Martin, who you want to say hello? Google. Hey Google, nice 
nice to meet you. Ditto. <laughs> so all, all the time they are trying to, to be fun, uh, fun. So this is a small example how they can two different artificial intelligence can talk uh, each other. So uh, and this uh, it was just a short example I can show you in the uh, oops. Let's get lost there. So this is the environment when when you do uh, all 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 the coding. And uh, it's a, a the, uh, welcome phrase, Martin. Nice to meet you. So I can re, uh, re, uh, rewrite like uh, <clears throat> like John, uh, Peter. Then I will going to say, and when it's ready, it's already packed all all together. So. Uh, I think now it should work. <laughs> Alexa, ask greeting bot. Hi, Martin. Who you want to say hello? John. Hey, it's John. Sleepy. Nice to meet you. Some night take some time. And I think it's very similar when, when we did some tests for uh, in Google. It works very similar way. Sometimes it takes some uh, more time, sometimes not. We will see how it's going. And this time. Never mind. We will do it later. So, it was the, well, the example. When you're creating a uh, voice bot, there are some things which you cannot do. Oh, you have to do with some, um, some, some understanding from the bot, collecting. Uh, sensitive data, GDPR, credit cards. Uh, you have to be careful about the brand names like Amazon, uh, Nike, uh, notification. I think it's not working quite now, right now. For example, ask them send me a notification. It's running on the phone, but I think it's not on a, on, on a device. Um, advertising, uh, Amazon decided uh, to keep the policy that you can do promotion inside of your application, for example, either for your own uh, services or for, for, for something else. Uh, and you cannot listen uh, the mic to use, like, uh, make a phone call and to talk uh, to this, um, to, to do a program. Um, yes, for uh, oh, the testing, uh, testing video, uh, target group, uh, automation, as we already talked about it. Uh, and the last part is oh, that uh, happy part, how you can make money. It's a big difference against to um, Google because you can put your Alexa skills, your own applications uh, to Amazon and it can be paid. So you can download, you can use, then you, can, uh, you can sell your, your skills. Second thing is it can be for free. But inside it can be like in a purchases. For example, uh, it can do translation or do some, something like uh, for several languages, and then you, you add German, which uh, can be paid. Uh, and the last thing, uh, Amazon um, announced every, I think every month, new a new competition for developers. Uh, create application for kids. Create application for teachers. Create applications for uh, business. And there are some nice uh, rewards which you can which you can get. And the last thing, uh, there are mainly two players, uh, Amazon and Google. Uh, and because this uh, this area is quite new, there is no like one standard. When you're creating web page, you're creating just web page, and it can be uh, you can look through different web browsers. Now when you're creating the same applications, 
you have to create special for each device. Uh, there's one tool, Jovo, uh, some type of framework which is quite nice when you're developing. They create two files, two different codes, uh, so it's uh, a little bit easier. And these guys are coming, and I think they're based in Germany. Okay, so this is really all. Uh, uh, there, uh, there are some examples I will show you how, how to use it. One is the weather. Uh, Alexa, what's the weather? In Minor 80, it's 73 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. Tonight's forecast calls for more of the same, with a low of 56 degrees. You uh, <laughs> should switch to uh, Yes, you, you can switch because there are uh, sometimes tricky when you say, oh, quite like coffee. So <laughs> it means that you are in your because people do this. Yes, I, I, I put it there. Your, mission, your, your, your language and your fire. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, especially with this location, yeah. which she, she doesn't know that. Uh, similar situation, okay, Google, what's the weather? Currently in Prague, it's 23 degrees Celsius and clear. Today, it's predicted to be 23 and clear. So, uh, very, very similar. Uh, news. Very interesting uh, activity from the Czech radio. Alexa, what's new? Here's your flash briefing. From Czech radio, Rady Asher Nal. Premiér Babiš se v pátek sejde s europoslankyní Šoudrovou, která navrhuje přijetí 50 syrských dětí. Generální tajemník OSN vyzval Barbu pro pustu. <laughs> so, two interesting things. Uh, the news are really some like two hours old. A second is, she was talking and I was able to say, Alexa, stop. Um, with kids, there are a lot of activities, a lot of um, things like uh, Alexa, count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> uh, the, 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 sorry? You play hide and seek. Uh, if, yeah, there, there are some, some games, or oh, well, small children, they can understand, repeat. Uh, okay, Google. Make sound of cat. This is a cat. <laughs> so you can teach words for uh, kids um, some uh, some some new words. Uh, hey Google, sing a birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from Google. Happy birthday to you. So there are some uh, small like Easter eggs. Uh, I, when you put there like your uh, when you have a birthday and then you ask them how uh, my son till my birthday and it just really counting down ten days two days and when I ask on my birthday day, they said okay it just oh you have a birthday today. And she started to sing. Uh, similar thing, uh, Alexa, sing a song. Alexa, sing a song. Let's make paper aeroplanes fly them round the summer sky. Let's make paper aeroplanes. Stop. Okay, so there are a lot of examples which you can find it uh, on the internet. Uh, what is possible, what is great, that you can download the applications on your Android or iOS and you can play with it. Just press button and uh, you can talk. Also on the website, um, I'm not sure if it's just now a very blog. When you do the test, there's also some environment uh, which you can use for for, for testing. Um, ask. Hi Martin, do you want to say hello? Hey 
Hey Google, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, can, nice you get to sit here. You get. <laughs> okay, Google. <laughs> and uh, so uh, this is about. Um, as some example you can play after words with with this. Dun, 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 dun. So. Uh, if you are ready, you have developers, you have programmers, uh, I can help you with, with a strategy, a conversation design and marketing, uh, and maybe you can create some uh, nice voice board. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you very much. So, do you have any questions for Martin? Or Alexa? <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is the difference between uh, Alexa number one and two. Generator. I'm not sure. Uh, I think just now we can probably buy number two. Yeah. Um, from my own experience, uh, Alexa and Google. Oops. So uh, I'm not sure about that. Alexa is uh, the voice from this mobile device. Alexa. Is you turn it back on. Slide the better. switch on the back of Google Home. Yes, okay. Uh, a little bit better. Yes, but when you buy the Google. big one, uh, uh, the sound is probably the, the same. I think number one and number two is probably more more speakers, more more more, more uh, microphones. So I would well, go to better the hardware, better hardware, better hardware, better hardware yeah. because the software will be the same. It goes to both. Mm -hmm. Not software will be new every time. Yeah, every time, every day. It's every even day. downloading upgrade. If you if you keep it uh, offline for a while, it uh, will for after a while just download the new firmware. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. <coughs> so so it's great, and I run it in uh, in my house. And uh, what is strange that my son is using it more than I because he just uh, asks for the morning, uh, setting some timers. And all, all this stuff for me, it's I'm just going to my phone and just touch me. You can connect it with your smart home, so you can even uh, turn lights and TV on and these yeah. kind of things. Yeah, we, we did something like this because we created like Arduino, you maybe know this IoT stuff, uh, and you can really put it together. And when for his, his very favorite uh, application, he's just in his bed, just light this on, and said, hey, uh, turn light on, off. Also, with this device, you can go to IKEA, and uh, there is a lot of uh, things which you can buy, just plug uh, to your house, and it's working very, very nice. So Change the colors, and so. And from my point of view, what is great that you can go to any shop and then go and, and buy it, and you can hold it to, uh, tomorrow. And if you compare those, these two, is there some significant uh -huh. difference? For me, uh, Siri, Siri was very funny at the beginning. Now, uh, then I was, uh, I, I was playing with, with Google. Now Google is quite fun. Uh, when I compare each other, it depends. Uh, when you ask Google, uh, they are quite good on uh, uh, searching. So their result will be much, much better. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have, I think the, the situation is very similar to Apple and all these services. You can use Apple TV here. I mean, you can just for uh, mirroring, but you can use the TV for movies. And the same with, with, uh, with, with Alexa. Uh, when I talked to my friend uh, who was uh, in the United States, like uh, he's working on, on uh, Amazon, he said, he's just using different way than we do. Uh, for example, he need like a uh, new teeth brush. Say, Alexa, put teeth brush to my uh, shopping list. During the day, oh, I need some papers for, uh, for, for my daughter. Alexa, put it there. And at 5 o'clock, someone knocks on the door and it's Curie from Amazon just holding the paper and uh, teeth brush. So they can use it absolutely different way than we do. Uh, if you are done with the answer. <laughs> Sorry? If you are done with the answer, I have another question. Uh, the backend, it's implemented with lambdas, meaning it is stateless. Uh, I'm wondering how you implement the context in the conversation. Mm -hmm. It says that uh, how you keep a conversation, if you use that DynamoDB as a backend, is uh, every 
how it is done uh -huh. academically. I think that documentation is quite well. I know, I know. And this, this, and this, probably. yeah, in this example, uh, we just, uh, no, 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 no. Use, use this sentence when it's uh, asked, Alexa will ask some uh, uh, some way and waiting for some some replies and I will pick up that. But, but in some ways you need to keep like content. Maybe you are just asking this. For example, uh, uh, I will show you because it's quite interesting. The uh, light's back on. Um, okay, Google. Who is the president of the Czech Republic? The president of the Czech Republic is Milos Zeman. Uh, okay, Google. What is the name of his wife? Ivana Zimanova and Blanka Zimanova. Okay, Google. How old is she? Ivana Zimanova is 53 years old. Okay. So, uh -huh. this so, this is great. <laughs> And it's uh, be, uh, becoming longer and longer, and you can understand and keep the, the content. So is Alexa able to do that? The, the, the same. I'm, I'm not sure. Alexa, who is the president of the United States? The United States president is Donald Trump. Alexa, how old is him? Donald Trump is 72 years old. Uh -huh. So this one also it's changing to continuous conversation. Now I still need to say the name uh, and the, the answer. And now you, uh, also you can switch it. Just he's still like online and keep your conversation uh, thing. But it's quite a problem in the Czech Republic because most of the time you don't speak uh, English. Oh, Czech So what is the lifespan of, of the context? Can I ask her like what questions I asked yesterday? You can ask. So, so I can ask what, it, what you were doing like yesterday? Maybe. You can see the profile. If you have your application also on, on Android, it also shows like the history of the, of the mobile device. Yeah. 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 Uh, Alexa, what is in my calendar? Here are the next four events. Today, at 10.30 p.m. there's NDA. At 11 p.m. there's Report Pro Com App. There's Com App Zappy at 11.30 p.m. which ends Alexa, tomorrow stop. at 12. Alexa, make a new appointment. What's the to-do? Uh, to do homework. I've added homework to your to-do list. So you can use it this way. But uh, I actually wanted to do something else. Create an appointment in my calendar. But because I'm not a native speaker, I probably you will understand me what I want to do. That is she interpreted, okay, he wants to do to do list. To -do. So uh, I just do it throughout time and I will I need to learn how to how to talk to them. Uh, I'm not sure about Alexa, but uh, Google okay, sleep. Uh, it's funny. Google can recognize six um, like voices. So when I ask what's in my calendar, I say Martin in your calendar. When my wife asks, she just replies on her calendar. I'm not sure about uh, Alexa, probably it's still the same because there are some yeah. training phrases and I'm not sure about how many people uh, are there. So, so you can use this way. Yeah, actually, I have a question. Personally, yeah. you don't have to answer if you don't have to. What is your wife saying about these devices? Uh, it's great for music. She actually, she, she loves it, but I think uh, it's if it's in the Czech, in the Czech language, it will be perfect. We are using it just for full timer, play this uh, music. Uh, you can do the connection with uh, Spotify, uh, but you are just missing the use cases. Because I think the one reason is, Czech Republic, and you are based here, and you are speaking Czech most of the time. I'm not sure about you and your experience. If you are here, you could probably ask, but you are still missing some some services. Yeah, I, I'm from Texas, and I just went home to, to visit my family. And um, my sister has three daughters. They have an Alexa in every single room mm -hmm. in the house. 
um, and they they sit there and interact with it. So, you know, we have one at the house here. My daughter uses it. I'm I'm not as interactive, but going back to Texas, everyone in the house had one in the room. Mm -hmm. So, what is which training? I think is. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, they use it for the alarm, they use it for music, they use it for, for everything. For everything. Now, to, uh, another um, type of usage that you put to a different room, to every room. When you go there, you say, turn on light. It can be here from, I don't know, four devices, but this is the strongest. So the light is on just in this room. I go to a different room, say, turn light on, and you're talking to this speaker. So this term is uh, on. For example, uh, and, uh, about the usage, my son, we were talking about some, some work what he's doing at school, etc. And he asked me, uh, Father, uh, how many stars are on US flag? I have no idea, 51, 52? Alexa, how many stars are? And he got the answer. Because otherwise you need to phone, open, how many stars are? Okay. So I think it's just becoming like part of the of your world. And I can imagine in business that we are in, in business meeting and you're preparing the report how many sales are in the Slovakia, how many uh, uh, what it was the sales in the United States. But I don't need to ask you. I can ask her. What's the sales? Uh, what's the name of the new employee? Um, how many people we need to fire? Or <laughs> and then uh, it's probably missing that point why to do the, the meetings. <laughs> but Sana is very interesting for uh, just to get the information right now and you can ask her the speed of light. But sometimes the, the answers are, are like mm, just 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 so far. So it's up to you, you can the light's use. back on. Both of them and ask them what you want. And compare. <laughs> I think there's also Alexa for the NIST introduced so quite recently. I'm not sure how much it is integrated in some like corporate services, but that's it. Yeah, there was one slide on the for business. There is a nice video about the, the, the business just explaining how you can you can use it. You already know how Alexa helps you at home. Alexa keeps you up to date on current events. Alexa, what's my flash briefing? Here's your flash briefing from the business review, management tip of the day. And on top of your schedule. Alexa, remind me to pick up the kids at 5 p.m. today. But what if Alexa could help you work more efficiently and be more productive? Introducing Alexa for Business. Now, Alexa can be your intelligent assistant wherever you go. Alexa can help you work from the comfort of your home. Alexa, when's my first meeting today? Your first meeting is one-on-one -on -one with Morgan at 8 a.m. Alexa, join the meeting. Okay. Hi, it's Angela. And help you in the office. Alexa can schedule a meeting. Alexa, schedule a meeting on Thursday with the sales team at 2 p.m. That's sales meeting on Thursday, October 26th at 2 p.m., right? Yes. Okay, I've added that. And even book a conference room. Alexa, ask the office who booked this room. This room is booked by Allison. Room 114 next door is available. Should I book it? Yes. Alexa saves time and hassle by starting meetings effortlessly. Alexa, start the meeting. Would you like to join the sales meeting? Yes. So you can shine during that important presentation. Alexa, pull up last quarter sales report. Okay, perfect. Alexa helps you stay organized so you can focus on what matters. Time to pick up the kids. All of this is made possible with Alexa for Business, which gives you the tools to provision and manage thousands of Echo devices around your office and enable your employees to use Alexa anywhere they work. With Alexa for Business, it's easy to create contextual voice experiences for your employees and for your customers. Alexa, where's Tyler's desk? In section B3. The more you look, the more you see. Now, Alexa can be used in an infinite number of ways, like helping your employees solve that pesky printer problem. Alexa, ask the office for more printer paper. Okay, I've ordered more paper. Should I send your job to printer three? Yes, that'd be great. The only unanswered question is, what will your business do with Alexa? 
So this is, I, I think it's a great old management of the device because in, in this building you can put some of the, all of them as. It's uh, a question, like uh, how does it recognize the person? Like if there's a security question, like if anybody uh, wants a report, right? But only manager can get the report, not everybody in the office, right? Something like that. How does it identify that person? I don't know <laughs> because uh, they, they can recognize some uh, some uh, some people. Uh, we did the test with Google, but sometimes my son is getting older, and sometimes he say, "Who's my name?" and is is Martin, yeah. you know, because his voice is yeah. similar. Uh, but you can put uh, there are some like, okay, that uh, give me the report, and the answer will be, "What is the password?" Yes, the say four digit, and four digit is one of the. Uh, Alexa just implemented uh, variable and it can recognize 1016. Okay, you are uh, allowed to hear the, the answer. So it's just, for me, it's unbelievable how it's easy to do it. This very small fun with this greeting bot. Uh, you can play uh, in, in your house, uh, you can do something for your wife to do recipe, you can do uh, some for you in, in your office, uh, so it's quite fun, and you can do, play with, with the lights and uh, etc. Okay, thank you very much. One more time. Thank you. Thank you.